I've heard pesto, I've seen it, but never tried it. I found this recipe Dude. by Pro Home Cooks and it looks delicious. That green pesto sauce sold me on it, so let's give this a try. The water boiling. All right, so I've seen this before. Let's salt the water. To the power of induction. We'll pop in our pasti. If you can use fettuccine. Again, anything you want, I don't care. That's a weird flex, but okay. We just have a regular electric stove. So the pasta we're going to be using here is fettuccine pasta, but not just any fettuccine pasta. This one is spinach, it's on sale. Same price as a regular one, so we're gonna be spoiling ourselves in trying this one out. Look how green it looks. My god, it looks so concentrated. I suppose I'm going to be getting my fibers in this batch. So we're going to be cooking this pasta for 8 minutes according to the box instructions. A little bit of olive oil and sausages, slice them right open. Always take that casing off. Alright, welcome to my show and tell. Today we got here some bacon and cheddar flavored sausage. Cutting the meat on the palm of the hand is crazy. I'm sure we can do this in a much safer way. Also, why can't we just use ground pork instead of rice and just removing the casing? I bet he had those laying in the fridge and decided, yep, that's content. Okay, I just found an easy way to do it. Just leave the sausages on the tray and cut it on the tray or on the cutting board, whatever. Just on the palm of your hand. That's literally not safe to do. Okay, so this is how they all look like after you strip them away from the casing. Looks nice, eh? Cremini mushrooms, right? This is a great dish to use whatever you have. The goal is to customize it. All right, cool. So I have matching mushrooms. The, the cremini mushrooms. Now we're going to uh, clean off the mushrooms. It kind of reminds me of my shoe shine days I never had. You know, just clean the shoe, except you clean the mushrooms instead. It's kind of nice. You're trying to like depolish it, make it shiny. Look how shiny it looks. It looks nice and dirt free. Yeah, it look clean. All right, next we're going to be chopping these mushrooms. Boom, dab it in there. All right, now I want to oil you up. <laughs> I want to oil you up. What does that mean? <laughs> the pot. I want to oil up the pot. Next, we're going to drop our peeled sausages into the pot and we're going to try to break them inside. Eventually, the wool will break down and it will become all crumbs. Now that the sausages has all broken down, we can finally add the cremini mushrooms. Now I will work on my pesto. Why did he point at that food processor? Uh, I don't know, man. I have a feeling I might need this. Quick pesto. Parsley here. Parsley. Check. Though is basil. I was expecting the basil to be packaged in a box or something, but I was not expecting to bring home a plant. Anyways, I'm a proud owner of our basil plant. I'm sure it will grow indefinitely and provide me unlimited supply of delicious basil, or unless I don't know how to maintain it and it might die on me, we'll see. My boy needs a haircut. So what brings you in today? You new? You look like the new guy in the block. You definitely need a cut today. Celeste, you come to the right place. I'll trim you nicely and you'll be on your way. You're looking fresh as hell today. All right, so we're about done here. Look at this. This will go towards a nice donation. I've got a secret weapon in case the basil plant doesn't work out. Yes, basil, check. Lemon zest. Juice of half of the lemon. Lemons, check. On garlic clove. Garlic clove, check. Okay, so in this next part here, he's going to be blending his food processor. Um, in my case, I don't have a food processor, but I've seen this on, on TV where the chefs actually use two knives and go at it. All right, so here we go. Okay, uh, it's not an earthquake. It's just uh, the camera shaking. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Yes, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, I might as well add in the garlic. Okay, let's put those guys in. Okay, this is a total fluke. I thought this wouldn't work, but it actually worked out. So we'll take it. Okay, so the next part, we're gonna need some zest from the lemon. Then we're going to need the juice of half a lemon using walnuts. All right, now we're going to use some nuts. So walnuts specifically. What is this? 2023, December 29th. Wait, 2024. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's expired anyways. Uh, what is the theft prevention system? All right, say less. You're going to bring up the scissors. Today, you're going to meet your maker. What's this? F? What's F? Never seen this in my life. That's crazy. F. Is that an F grading? Is that the great walnuts? F? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we're going to need a couple walnuts, preferably five or six. Alright, so now we're going to load up these walnuts into the bag, and obviously we're not going to use a knife and chop it. We're just gonna use a rolling pin and beat this up. In case you're wondering where I got this rolling pin, it's from IKEA. It's a nice rolling pin. And I keep it in this protective package. Alright, let's see what we have here. I mean, I know what we have here, it's just, is it what we're looking for? 
Is it ground to a dust? Yes, we do. It passes the quality inspection. Now to the bowl it goes. Oil. All right, next. We're going to add some oil. We're going to be a little generous here because that's the foundation of the sauce. All right, so this is how the bowl looks like after it down almost the whole bottle of the oil. A little bit of pasta water, a little more liquidy with that. So I managed to save a bit of the pasta water. I know the water looks pretty murky, but we're just going to add a little bit in it. It's looking great, ready to go. How is this pesto neon green like that? Mine's like natural color. Did he add food coloring? Did he edit, edit it somehow? Pesto in. Cook that pesto for about 30 seconds. All right, now that the meat and the mushroom has browned, it's now time to add our pesto in there. Noodles, pasta, just a pot like this. Food processor stills plenty of pesto into the pasta water. I still have a bit of the pasta water, so I'm gonna just kind of clean that uh, pesto bowl with it. Go in with some fresh parm. All right, now I'm going to add the pasta in there. I'm gonna try by adding half of it, see if there's enough sauce. Um, in you go. All right, so I have this funny tool here, which I got from Ikea. Apparently, this Lego block is supposed to be a cheese grinder. So you put that cheese in there, and you start spinning away. I'm not sure which way the cheese is supposed to come out because the thing's got like two ends. Uh, I kept trying to like tilting it to find the right position, but whatever, just keep spinning it. All right, so we finally reached the end of this cheese block. And we serve. All right, now we're going to mix this for about 30 seconds. All right, we're finally done. We'll have a closer look. Look, look at it. All right, so this is how the dish looks like after we play it up. That's not too bad, right? It's got a lot of meat, mushrooms, Pasta, pesto, it looks nice. All right, now moving on to the best part, we get to eat this. All right, let's inspect this mushroom. <laughs> wow, this mushroom is insane, it's very juicy. The sausage is very fatty, it's very juicy. It tastes very herbaceous. It tastes, first of all, herbaceous is a word that I've never used. It's a zesty word, I would say. Um, it's a lot of herbs, it's a lot of basil, parsley. It's a different taste. If you're like a herb before, you might like this. Overall, the dish does not look very green. Um, it only looks green because I'm using the green fettuccine pasta, but otherwise, it's very brownish in color. It doesn't come close to what um, Pro Home Cooks has. I mean, it's tasty, I'll take it. The pasta is very good. It tastes very different. Um, not like a regular fettuccine. It's got a lot of uh, the roasted garlic flavor, which is nice. I'll rate this dish at 8 out of 10. Um, I'm not super crazy about the pesto. It's all right. It's edible. I can see the appeal uh, for people that are looking for um, a very herbal pasta. I'm more of a creamy pasta guy. So that's probably why I'm not head over heels over this pasta. Do you watch Pro Home Cooks? Have you tried his other recipes? Let me know. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for passing by.